Okay, in the first step, we're going to go ahead and look for the Microsoft Azure login portal. So I'll go to Google and look that up. And now, once we get to the login page, we'll select personal account, since this is a personal account that we set up in the last lesson for our, uh, for our trial account with Azure. So I'm going to go ahead and put in my credentials for the account that we just signed up for for the username and password and select sign in and we'll go ahead and log into the Azure portal. So the portal is loading up and once we get to the portal we can see all of the items that are available that we've created so far. In the last lesson we, we created a web application and we can see that. So now we'll select virtual machine and it indicates that we haven't created any virtual machines yet and I'll use the quick create wizard to go ahead and create a virtual machine. So the first entry that you have in this wizard is to put in the, the DNS name and it'll verify that name and noting the green check mark that that name is available. You can also select the image size and I'm going to go ahead and select the default image which is a Windows Server 2012 image. You also need to enter in the username and the password and confirm the password they're going to use for the administrative login. And then in the last entry, you can select what region, uh, you, what Azure region. In this case, I'm going to use Central United States. So now um, it's going to go ahead and take all those parameters and go ahead and create the machine. And it takes about five minutes for this to create. So once it's created, you can see a number of different settings for the machine that are available. There's a dashboard that shows you basic performance information. There's a monitor that can show you traffic that's available. We just created this machine. And there's an endpoints dialog that shows you the TCP IP endpoints. And basically the last tab is a configuration tab where you can change the settings for RAM and CPU and those types of things. So we'll go ahead and leave all those settings alone. And we'll move back to uh, uh, the, the portal setting here in just a second. I'll go ahead and select back to that. And now that our machine is running, we can connect to this via uh, virtual desktop or remote desktop or RDP. So I'll go ahead and download the RDP file. And once it's downloaded, I can double click on the, the file and it will take me to the login dialog where I can put in my username and password and connect to the virtual machine that we've just created. So once that's in, I can select OK. And after just a few seconds, we'll notice the, the typical Windows 2012 dialog, and there's our server via remote desktop. So it's just exactly like we were connected uh, locally to a machine, except for con connected via remote desktop. So now that we're on, I'll, I'll go ahead and log off. There's nothing in particular I want to do with the machine other than showing that how we can connect to that machine. And once we're back in the Azure dialog, I can go ahead and shut my machine down. It's important to shut these machines down when you're not running them so you don't incur any unnecessary charges. So it takes just a few seconds to shut down. I can see that it's stopped. And now I'll go ahead and sign out uh, from Azure. And this really completes our, our lesson of creating a virtual server in Windows Azure.